Hey everyone, so this is the question number 30. Let us see the solution of this question. Three digital clock A, B and C run at different rates and do not have a simultaneous reading of zero. Figure 1, 6 shows simultaneously reading on pair of the clock for four occasions. At the earliest occasion, for example, B reads 25 seconds and C reads 92 seconds. If two events are 600 seconds apart on the clock, A, how far apart they on the first one clock B, B clock C, and the third uh, one, when clock A reads 400 seconds, what does the clock B read? Okay, so we will just do one by one all those questions. Let us see the solution for the first one. Uh, so, the time on these particular clocks as we can see here in a straight line function of the other. Consider B and C. Okay. So we are considering B and C. So if C is a 92 as we can see here. So that time B will be 25 seconds. And when the C will be 142 that B uh, like the B will be 200. Okay. So, we can say for the straight line equation that is a y minus y1 is equals to m x minus x1. We can do from this particular scenario. So, y minus y1 is equals to is a given 92 is equals to m. Okay. That what is the m? That is the difference of these ratios. So, we can take up like this. So, 142 minus 92 divided by the 200 minus 25, okay, into x minus 25. So, we can calculate one equation from there, like nine, uh, y minus 92 is equals to 2 by 7 x minus 25 plus 92. So, we got the value of a y, like in the equation term 2 by 7 times x plus 594 by 7. So, similarly here we can represent this y for the time tc on the clock, okay, and similarly tb for the time b clock particular, tc for the c clock. So, if I'm just assuming the time, so tc will be like 2 by 7 times of a time tb, okay, as we can see here, and uh, plus 594 divided by 7. Similarly, if we just relate this value A and B, so what we will receive? Like Y minus 125 for this 2 minus 312, that is with X, is equals to the relation between these two, like 512, okay, uh, 125 minus 290 divided by 312 minus 512. So same, we will get the result like a y minus, uh, y is equals to 33 by 40. We get in the form of x 62 divided by 5. So in the form like a y, I am just considering for the b. So tb is equals to 33 by 40 times ta. Minus 662 divided by 5. So, this is equation number second. This is equation number first. We can assume these both equations. Okay. And for the part, we just started. So, if we relate these for these two particular equations, we get the value of a time lag difference between the TB. So, the value which we got, the time lag. That will be 495 seconds for this. And uh, for the second question, as we can see, there will be, we have to find the time lag between the block C. So, if I am just again doing this process, so TC1 minus TC, if I am just taking the difference between two, this will be 2 by 7 times of TB1 minus TB. That means time difference between the time uh, B part. So, this will be 2 by 7 times of 495, the answer will come here, 141 second. This is a B part, this is a C part is, if I am just talking about the clock B, uh, clock B reads. So, clock B reads, that means TB is equals to 33 divided by 40 times, like 
how much this value is actually. So 33 divided by 40, that will be x. So what is the x here? That is a 400, which we receive. Okay, the A reads 400 seconds. So I just put this value and got the answer. That is a 196. Similarly, with the D part also. In the D part, there will be a clock. C reads 15 seconds. So what we are doing, 15 is equals to 2 by 7 times of a TB. Okay, plus 594. So when you solve this particular part, you will get the value of a TB is equals to 425 seconds. So as we see that clock B reads minus 245 seconds. When the clock C reads 15 seconds. So I hope you understand the process of this particular question. Thank you for watching this video.